Greetings. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a smart plug that's no longer reading by your router or your device. And it doesn't matter what device you have, whether it's uh, Amazon Alexa, if it's a Google Hub, or whatever device that you're using it for. And it doesn't matter what brand of plug that you have. There's multiple different brands. I usually get them off of Amazon. So if it's not reading, what I want you to do is double check your router, your internet router and make sure other devices are working on it whether it be your smart TV whether it be um, a laptop or a computer and if those aren't reading then you know it's not your plug it's the actual uh, router so what I'd highly recommend you do is unplug your router from the wall power and then and let it sit for a good 15 minutes plug it back in and if you're getting internet then see if your plugs able to work now, for whatever reason, if your plug is still not working, what I want you to do is unplug it from the wall, and you might want, if, if the plug is far away from the router, plug it in closer to the router in the same room and see if it works. If it does work, then you know maybe you're having an issue because it's just too far away from the Wi-Fi, or the router might be overwhelmed with other connections. So if you've got several people in your house, that might be the reason it's not working is because so many people are using the router. It's just it's just too busy, and you might have to wait to use your plug um, or whenever not so many people are, are online. So next thing I want you to do is reset the plug. And it doesn't matter, again, what brand that you have. This particular one is a Eufy. What we want to do is we want to hold down the power button right here. Some might be on the other side and you want to hold it down for 10 seconds and make sure you hold it down for the full 10 seconds now you can see it's starting to blink some will blink blue some will blink amber orange red and then blue some will just blink red and you hold it down for 10 seconds and this is doing a reset a factory reset which is what you want and then after 10 seconds you let go and then what you're going to do, it's going to start blinking again here in a second. Once it starts blinking, then it's reset and it's ready for you to add the device again on your whatever uh, app that you're using. I'm using, for example, I'm using Amazon Alexa. And again, it doesn't matter if you have Hub or whatever you have. And then I want to try to search for the new advice again. A lot of times you could just give, like if you have an Alexa, you could just give it a command. You could just say, Alexa, look for new devices. And then she'll she'll look for it. So she's, she's starting to discover it. All right. Now, after you've tried that and it still doesn't work, it may be that your plug is just broken. Try a different plug if you have another one and see if that works, then you know in the same outlet, then you know that this is just, they do go bad. They do short out and go bad. So it might be that it's just broken. Just get you another one and see if it, and see if it works. Also, you might want to check your wall outlet and make sure that there's not a short in it. So you might, if it's got the one where it's got like a little button that you could press, um, do that. Because a lot of times the outlets will have like a like a like a short circuit button to prevent it from like oversurging. You can just press it in the center. Uh, try a different a different electronic on that outlet, and if it's not working, then go to your circuit board in your home. And then reset it because it might have just blew out and you just need to, to reset it. All right, thanks for watching. If I helped you, make sure you subscribe. Also put in the comment section what device that you have. Are you using a hub? Are you using um, uh, Alexa? Whatever you're using, let me know in the comment section. All right, thanks for watching.